A to 4 saying my stepsister and I bonded over our mutual dislike of our parents. So my stepsister and I became stepsisters at the age of 8 we are now 16 my dad died, and her mom died, and my mom married her dad, but they got married to replace our deceased parents they wanted us to be a mom dad and two girls family they pressured us to call our step parent mom slash dad, and we really disliked it the only good thing that came from it is we got close, because we disliked our parents for doing it and we still do we are closer than ever to each other, but we dislike my mom and her dad more than ever because we still don't want to call the step parents in our lives mom or dad. People have asked us over the years how we got so close and we tell them how we bonded. So recently we started therapy and the therapist asked my stepsister and me why we bonded so much with each other and not with the step parents in our lives. And I told her the truth that we bonded because her dad and my mom tried to replace our deceased parent with their spouse and we did not like it and our dislike for them brought us closer together. My mom and her husband were so pissed off and they actually ended the session early. I got into huge trouble. Ata. If you go for another session. You should bring up how you were punished for sharing your feelings. Your parents did not and still do not care about your feelings. NTA. I wonder if it's possible for Rob to somehow reach out to the therapist by themself and tell her what happened. I'm sure she's better equipped to deal with the parents violating the purpose of the therapy. NTA you were in therapy and were asked a question. It is meant to be a safe space. They have no right to get angry just because they don't like the answer. Also, it's shit of them to try to replace your deceased parent. I'm glad you have your stepsister cause both parents are sucky for their behavior. Love, love, these posts where parents take their kids to family therapy to fix issues, but immediately shut down when the kids are open and honest about what the issues are. I guess the parents are hoping the kids will say I was the problem sorry, I'll be better now. Apostrophe. NTA and I'm sorry but this is funny. Y'all are like reverse parent trap. Her parents are too immature to deal with their own grief. So of course they have no idea how to help you with yours. It's shitty of them to decide they get to just end therapy bc they're uncomfortable too. NTA truth hurts. Forcing relationships doesn't work. And I find it ironically sweet that you two are close over this. NTA. WTF is wrong with your father and her mother? Exclamation mark. Question mark? A. They chose each other. You didn't. So you shouldn't have to call them anything you don't want to. And B. You got in trouble for being honest at therapy. Exclamation mark. Question mark? Exclamation mark. Question mark? Question mark? Then what the duck do they think therapy is supposed to be for? Exclamation mark. Question mark? They wanted to get compliance from us. But they don't realize we will never be the family they want. And I'm not sure we will ever be any kind of family. We have both talked about walking away from them for good when we turn 18 in a couple of years. Well, judging by the weight of your feelings, I imagine there is a hell of a lot more to unpack than the few words you typed here. And I hope very much that you and your sister manage to get to a point where your respective parents no longer negatively occupy such a large part of your brains. If that means leaving in a few years, all power to you. If it means readdressing therapy and trying to make that work, I hope it does. Whatever your sister and you decide. Best of luck. I'm glad you have each other. NTA. I mean, if they didn't want to hear the answer then they probably shouldn't ever ask the question. Or B. Been in therapy with you both. Also it sounds like they have bigger issues. No wonder you both hate them. Well. The therapist asked the question, not the parents, but honestly, they should have known, or at least figured this out by now. NTA. Sounds like they only want you to have the feelings they deem correct, love your new step parent, and not the ones you actually have. You're a person not a living doll, and you said it in the pee, not in a heated tone in an argument. NTA. My first thought is what's the point of therapy if you're not even going to hear out the answers to the tough questions? But that said, maybe some things are better left to be processed once said than explored immediately. If they were that upset, I'm not sure how much progress you could make when all that's going on in their heads is how could they say that? Well done for using therapy like it's supposed to be used. 
Just keep communicating honestly. Don't let parents acting like children stop you from making use of the tools available to you. NTA. Your parents sound like they don't want to take any responsibility for their parts in their bad relationships with their children. That's a sign of narcissism. Not sure why they even bothered to take you to a therapist. Good luck. You're going to need it. Because they were hoping the therapist would tell them their children are awful and naughty and they, the parents, aren't the problem at all. They wanted someone to tell them they're right and the girls are wrong. Yup. And they were probably hoping the therapist would fix the kids. But what needs to be fixed is the relationship which will require work from everyone involved. Especially the parents as they play a huge part in why the relationship is where it is now. NTA. What are they hoping to get out of therapy? If you can't be honest, you were both right not to call your step-parents mum and dad if you didn't want to. I can't think of a quicker way to build resentment in a kid. It's disrespectful to both your past parents and to you. At least you have each other. NTA. You told the truth, which you should do in therapy, in order to make any kind of progress. Did your stepsister agree with you during the session? NTA. They proved you, and your stepsister, right by punishing you for things said in therapy of all places. Have been through multiple bouts of family therapy and individual therapy I hope that is something that is addressed in your next session. Don't let up on this. It's either going to make or break your relationships and it's on them to choose which of those it will be. You should never be punished for honest feelings. And in therapy you're going to hear a lot you don't want to. They have to come to terms with those feelings, whether they like it or not, or lose you both in the process. You won't be children they can punish forever. NTA. I hope future sessions can be used to actually deal with this, and that you and your stepsister stay close. Malicious partial compliance. Start referring to each other as sister. It would be really funny. NTA. For duck's sake, where is the therapist in this? Therapy is a place where you are supposed to be able to speak freely, whether somebody likes what you have to say or not. That's the only way that the underlying issues can be addressed. NTA but I won't go back to family therapy with them if they are going to punish you for whatever you say. If they force you into another session you can tell the therapist I don't feel comfortable saying anything because parents got mad. I'm sure the therapist knows, but just making it clear that a tantrum from the adults did nothing. It'll never understand parents who take their children to therapy, only to be angry at them for being honest about their feelings. If your parents are just gonna get mad over what you say and ignore whatever your therapist has to say then why bother going? I'm sorry your parents are acting immature and selfish. Therapy is supposed to be a safe place for you to be open and honest without fear. It's sweet that you and your stepsister are able to bond and be friends. Just hang in there for two more years and you both can get out. NTA. NTA NTA NTA. I'm a therapist and when I work with kids slash teens and their parents together, usually the kid slash teen is my client and mom slash dad or both are there at some own's request. The first rule I set is that there is to be no punishment for anything said in therapy. That's shitty of the mopus. And as someone whose father tried for years to push their wife on me to have a relationship with her, though not to call her mom, because mine was in my life. I get it, and I'm glad you and your stepsister have each other. NTA you should not be punished for something you say in therapy. You could have said anything in therapy and it doesn't warrant punishment, unless it's illegal. NTA. Your therapist asked a question and you gave a real and honest answer. If your step slash parents don't like how therapy works, they shouldn't have signed you up for it. They should not ask questions or get them asked for them if they are not willing to accept the answer that will be given. Regardless of what that answer might be. Same for therapy. You don't go there unless you also are open to accept that you might be part of the problem. Up and stepsies are NTAs, the parents are ours. NTA therapy is supposed to be a place where you can say anything and it'd be a safe place to do so. Your parents are wrong for, well multiple reasons, but in this case for punishing you for telling the truth during therapy. NTA, I'm not sure how you can get in trouble for how you feel. You feel wrong, so I punish you? Parents think they can punish children into doing what they want but often push them away.
NTAI was ready to say this was a bit harsh to just come out and say, but reading your post you said it in therapy when asked directly, as others have said this is, is supposed to be a safe place and a place for everyone, including your parents, to self reflect, if my kid said that to me, I would be heartbroken not angry, and I hope I would have the courage, to try and fix it, or at least improve the relationship, by listening to what they had to say. NTA. I've been in a similar-ish position, where my mom bought a house with a dude, after they had been dating for like a month. I had met him twice. The other girl was a year young than me. Initially we hated each other, because both our parents, in private, would tell us why, can't you be like the other girl? She's so supportive, and thinks this is great. Then we found out the truth. That both of us had actually been telling our parents, that this was a stupid, awful, horrendous idea that was bound to end in disaster and we bonded over that. Back to you op. Your parents are dead wrong. They took you to therapy. A good move. But then chastised you for telling your truth, because they can't admit their own faults. I think you and stepsister should remain a united front on this. You don't have to openly rebel against your parents, but you have absolutely nothing to apologize for, and they need to start respecting the fact you simply don't want to call the other parent mom slash dad. I hope the therapist will address your parents behavior with them, and recommend they get their own therapy. That's not how adults should act, especially if they're in turn, in finding a solution for the entire family. NTA. Good luck op. NTA. 1. You cannot be the asshole for expressing yourself in therapy. If the parents were that upset the therapist should have been the one to explain to them, or calm them down. 2. If they can't handle your honest criticism in a space they probably chose for all of you to attend, then they don't get to reap the rewards of therapy, a healthy relationship with the two of you. 3. You didn't offer your opinion on any day. You have had 8 years to tell them this. But you did not push this in their face. They pushed their ideas into your face when you were only 8 and grieving. You only replied when asked. In my opinion there is just no view of this situation where you are the asshole. I'm glad you and your stepsister have a close bond. Semicolon. You don't have to worry about you being the asshole to the parents though. They are the adults and pressured you into something you and your stepsies weren't ready for and of course it backfired on them. My advice. Don't pressure yourself to be like the parents expect you to be. Maybe try to get some sessions in therapy with just your stepsies. And by yourself. I have a feeling. You will get more out of the individual therapy sessions. Than the ones with the parents. NTA. It doesn't matter if they think they haven't done anything wrong. You and your sister obviously have had a different experience with this transition than they have. And you should be allowed to express your point of view. It seems to me that there are probably a lot of other issues that are also making you unhappy in your relationship with them to want to totally cut contact. NTA. Therapy is supposed to be for everyone to be able to communicate respectfully. If they were not willing to listen and try to understand they did not bring you there for the right reasons. Try to keep the therapy thing going. Maybe the therapist can help them learn to listen. NTA. Well your parents definitely are nasty pieces of work. Cutting short a therapy session because they can't accept the truth and how much they messed up is not how they'll get you to like your step parent or parent more. NTA. Therapy is a safe space, but both you and your stepsister's parents are tar. You can't force maternal slash paternal relationships on people. If the bound grows it happens naturally, and you shouldn't be pressured into calling them a name you are uncomfortable with. NTA. You were supposed to be in a safe space, where you could talk about these things. Tell your therapist you got in trouble for telling the truth, and you no longer feel as if there is anything to gain from participating. I'm glad you and your stepsister have bonded. NTA. Your parents put you all in family therapy because they wanted you to just do what they wanted. My dad and stepmom pulled that same thing regarding the therapy not needing to call my stepmother mom when I was younger. And after realizing that the therapist was a friend of my stepmother's I refused to go back after the first session. NTA you were honest evidently that's not what your parents wanted. Oof. Trying to force a child to call a step parent mom or dad is the most ridiculous thing I can imagine. 
if you are worthy they will do it, because they want to. It's as bad as the old saying the beatings will continue until moral improves. NTA and when you're older, you'll see that crummy bosses have the same effect on their employees. The huge issue is your parents punishing you for being honest in therapy. Maybe from now on. You should have sessions without your parents present. Or at least a portion of the session. Ask your parents if you're going to be punished for being honest. Are they asking you to lie? NTA. Those are your feelings. I'm sure your mom and her husband look at it differently and don't see it as a replacement for your deceased parents. They fell in love with someone else and sometimes you have to move on even though they are still in their heart. I don't know your mother and her husband. So I don't know if that's the case. But that being said, you were in therapy to talk about your feelings. The therapist asked you a question and you answered. They have no right to get angry at that. NTA. At 16 I had to process in therapy that I was mourning and grieving the parents I never had. They were just not capable of being so. Of course your parents were hurt, but there's no getting around that they hurt you both as they tried to force blend the two families together when you and your sister were younger. They should be there for you instead of trying to force a happy-go-lucky picture-perfect family. I'm glad you have your sister. My sisters are the ones I lean on the most. Even now in my 30s with my parents on low contact. NTA. NTA and if you're punished for what you say in therapy then clearly your parents didn't put you there to help the family dynamic, but to try to force the two of you to conform to their unrealistic demands of how you see your family. If you enjoy watching these video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Thanks.